what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so with winter around the corner it's time to take my hostiles off and throw the stock wheels back on uh, but this time around i decided to get some 1.5 inch wheel spacers and uh, throw those on there so we're gonna get those things installed see how they look all that good stuff before we get into it make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe all that good stuff it really helps the channel out a lot so without further ado let's get into it so here are the spacers I went with, the KSP 1.5 inch spacers, Amazon specials here. They seem to be really nice construction. The studs look to be of OEM quality. I believe they're a little softer based on the torque specs, but we're gonna get into all of that soon. Other than that, I know a few guys have been running these things for years without any issues, so I don't see myself having any issues either. But these are only gonna be on for a few months, just the winter months, so here they are. And it comes with these 19 millimeter lug nuts to hold these guys onto the factory studs. Let me put the wheel over that and then use their studs for the wheel. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna install the front first so you guys can get a visual of what 1.5 inch spacers with stock wheels and a 275 65 20 look like against the 20 by 10s I have on it now and a negative 19 offset. So. If anybody is on the fence on whether to just stick with a stock wheel and add some 1.5 inch spacers or go with, you know, say a 20 by 10 and a negative 19 offset, I'm going to be able to show you guys what both look like and how both sit uh, on the truck. So with all of that out of the way, let's get the fronts installed and then uh, show you guys what it looks like and then we'll move on to the rear. All right, so factory lugs are a 22 millimeter. So I've got aftermarket lugs on there, but the adapter is still 22. Let's get this hub centric ring off of here. Alrighty. So anytime I take a wheel off, I always grab some fluid film and just fluid film this hub here. Keeps things clean, rust free, especially living up here in New York. Things like to rust way too fast. So I like to squirt some on here and uh, keep things as clean and protected as well as you can. Now we're gonna take our spacer. Slide that guy in there, fits real nice. By the way, no studs need to be cut for this, supposedly. Once you get them snug, don't don't tighten it with an impact. We're gonna finish it off with a torque wrench. 130 foot pounds is what you're gonna to torque these nuts to because these nuts go to these factory studs that call for 130 foot pounds. So 130 foot pounds it is. How are we gonna do that? I'm gonna stick a screwdriver in the rotor. Hopefully it'll stop it. We're gonna go 130. Got my mud flap in the way. All right, there we go. There's one, 130 foot pounds. Take your screwdriver back out. And now we're ready to put the uh, wheel on. All right, now for the lug nuts to hold the wheels on. So these are 14 millimeter. And KSP wants 85 to 95 foot-pounds for those. Now, I'm gonna bend the rules a little bit. Um, 
like I said earlier, the the torque spec on the truck is 130. Okay, but that's for the um, factory studs. That tells me that these studs are a little bit softer, hence the lower torque spec. So I'm gonna bend the rules a little bit. I'm gonna go 115. Um, you know, I know people that do the full 130 and they haven't had any issues, um, but kind of like to follow the rules just a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna go 115 on these and uh, you know, a little bit lower, a little bit lower than factory, a little bit higher than what KSP calls for, but uh, I think it'll be okay. So I'm gonna go 115 on these. Now this is all, whatever you guys wanna do is up to you. This is how I'm going to do it. Take it for what you will. Everything seated nice, which looks like it is. Now we're gonna let the truck down. And then we can go ahead and torque them down to 115. There we go. All right guys, so got the fronts on. Again, 275, 65, 20 in the front and the uh, 1.5 inch spacers. So honestly, they stick out almost as much as the 20 by 10s, negative 19, and my 35 by 12 and a halfs. So. Pretty darn close. All right, now we move to the rear. It's all the same as the front. Make sure your hub is all clean. If it's all rusty, clean it. Hit it with some, well, I prefer fluid film, but any type of anti-rust uh, chemical will do. And we'll slip our spacer on. Once you get them started, remember, don't crank them down, just snug them up. Let me take our screwdriver, jam it in the rotor, and we set the torque to 130. Ready to put the wheel on. And just a wee bit more fluid film. Get it seated properly. Yeah. Just snug them down. seated and we'll do it the other side pop the other one on let it down torque them and that'll be it guys so once I get everything all finished up in the rear here we'll see how everything looks alrighty here it is all complete 